Hey everybody, it is Roche Ball. You guys, happy Saturday. And um, I'm starting to get used to putting these eyelashes on. This is the second Saturday in a row that I decided to put them on. Um, I'm a little kind of remixed and janky with them, especially with this one, because this one is kind of like, has a lot of my eyeshadow on it or whatever. But I'm starting to get used to learning how to put them on, and I, I do let the glue get tacky and everything. I do not use the black weave glue because... Um, yeah, I just have to use what I have. And so my mom had gave me some glue um, to use. And it's gray, so I have to make sure I kind of go back. I had to go back with some liquid eyeliner and just put fill in all the gray spots or whatever. And I didn't use mascara on my false lashes at all, but I did use mascara on my real lashes. And you can kind of tell when I look up that this one is kind of remixed, but that's okay. Um, whatever. And as you can see, the ponytail that I got from Amazon.com, I think Thursday, has finally came today. And I took out my twisties, as you can see, and I put this bubble ponytail thing in. The first person I saw wear this was Candy Burris, but I, I don't know if she's the first person that, that made it up. So I don't want nobody coming in the comments saying, oh, no, she didn't do that. It's just the first person I saw wearing the hairdo. And I wanted to try it ever since because I was watching um, Real Housewives of Atlanta and she had this hairdo. And I was like, I want to try that. Then I saw a couple of YouTube tutorials, um, tutorials on YouTube of people doing this hairdo. So I wanted to try it. Um, plus, I did this hairdo before, you know, and I think I have pictures of it on my Instagram. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. I came to you guys to give you the 20 more facts about me. So this is 10 facts about me part two. So I started at 11 instead of starting at one because the first video I did one through 10. Now I'm going to do 11 through 20. So here we go. 10 facts about me part two. I don't like dirty clothes. If I can help it, the only dirty clothes that I want to do is, is the ones that I have on. If the lighting sucks, I do apologize. It's just that my pixie light is really getting dim. And I need to hurry up and charge it. I hate when it does that, though. But, um, yeah, I don't like dirty clothes at all. I can't stand it. I don't like it. And, like I said, if I can help it, the only dirty clothes I want is the ones I have on. That's it. I don't like when my dirty clothes hamper pile up because then I feel like I have to wash everything. Even if it's one sock, I have to wash everything. Number two, my favorite sports team will have to be football, the Green Bay Packers, and baseball, none. Um, football, I mean, yeah, football, the Green Bay Packers, and basketball, the Celtics. Um, I love the Green Bay Packers, and they've been whooping behind lately, okay? I think they, did they beat the Jaguars? I think they beat the Jaguars, so. Um, that was number 12. Number 13, my favorite singer, male and female, would have to be Brandy. And I like boys to men. So I know that's not just one male singer, but it's all of them. I grew up listening to boys to men and Brandy, and they are my favorite singers. And plus, I had a crush on Nate Morris from Boys to Men. You know, the one with the glasses with the juicy lips. Him. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Bless me with him under the Christmas tree in Jesus' name. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yes, Boys to Men and Brandy are my favorite male and female singers. Okay, 14. Best childhood memory. I have two, so I'm going to hurry up and make this quick. My first one is, anytime we ever had a potluck at school or through a party, my mom always made sure that my sisters and I had something to bring so we won't be empty-handed, you know, because sometimes people say you can't enjoy the food or drinks if you don't bring nothing, and you never know people's situation. There was this one time I was at Bedford High School, and it was in my, um I don't know what you call this kind of class, and the teacher was looking at this student who just helped herself and got some food and was just like, she went to her and I heard the conversation. There was behind me and she was like, next time you don't contribute anything, you can't partake in it. And I'm thinking in my mind, you just don't know people's situation. What if she didn't have no food? Or what if her parents only had money to just pay the bills and and pay the rent and after that, their car notes and that's it. What if they didn't have food? So maybe she was trying to, I don't know. I don't know what, what that was, but I didn't like it, honestly. Even as a young child, I didn't like it. So, And my thing is, look. You can take some food because there was a lot of food left over that nobody took home. Yeah, I did. I think I did take some cupcakes on or something. But yeah, she could have had that. So, yeah. And another one is best childhood memory is my sisters, my cousins, and I used to tie plastic grocery bags around our ankles and our feet and slide around the carpet. The moment somebody got hurt, we had to stop playing. And it was always one of my little cousins. He used to always get hurt. And there was this one brick wall that was around the house. He used to run around the house and jump the brick wall. He was the only one who couldn't jump the brick wall. So guess what? We had to stop playing that. And I don't like that. He needs to go just play some, something else. And so we can still jump the brick wall. But yeah, those are two of my childhood memories. Um, Getting back. Number 16. No, number 15. My favorite season would have to be... Summer. I love summer, even though I can't wait. That scorching hot, hot, hot. 
I can't take that, especially at night. If it's scorching hot in the daytime, I, I can't. It's, un, it's I can't tolerate it at night because then I have to sleep with a sheet. And I love my blankets, even if it's scorching hot. I love my blankets, but there have been times when it's been really hot at night to the point where even the little fan that I had didn't even do nothing. Open up the window, it didn't do nothing. I was miserable. So I took another shower that was kind of coldly, and that kind of helped me sleep. Still didn't get enough sleep, but that kind of helped me sleep. So my favorite season would be summer. Number 16, what can I cook? Hmm, I can cook beans and rice, and I put bacon in it, and sometimes sausage, but more bacon. Kind of like how beans and rice taste at Popeye's. That's the kind of beans I know how to make, but not quite like Popeye's, but I can kind of get it there with bacon ends and pieces in my kidney beans and rice and cornbread. Mm -hmm. I can also make spaghetti, of course. I can make... um. Soup. My sister, my oldest sister, just taught me how to make soup, so I know how to make soup now. And I can make some baked chicken. I put the chicken in a bag and really season it up and put my little vegetables in it, then put it in the oven. But now I kind of open the bag out and I just let everything go with a whole bunch of um, cream of chicken and chicken broth and all of that. So baked chicken. And I think I think I can make chicken fettuccine alfredo too. Yes, I can make chicken fettuccine alfredo because I love linguine. Those are my favorite noodles. So yes. Um, number 17, height and weight. Why did I put this? I don't know. But my height is 5'6". I'm 5'6". And my weight is one little, okay? One little, 100 and... Okay? So there. <laughs> I don't know why I put that. Favorite Christmas movie? Miracle on 34th Street, hands down. I know, Home Alone and A Christmas Story and This Christmas and Four Christmases, Vince Vaughn and all that. No. Miracle on 34th Street. Hands down. And the second one would have to probably be It's a Wonderful Life. But right now, Miracle on 34th Street, hands down. The old one with Natalie Wood when she was little and all that. Okay, um, number 19. I'm almost done, you guys. Keeping this video under 15 minutes. Okay. Fact number 19. Favorite place in the world. The Griffith Observatory. And then Universal Studios. As a child, I remember going into... The planetarium theater and i saw a movie called center of the universe and i was just in love with that place ever since then and that's the place where if i could get married there i would if i can live there i would if i can camp out in front of the observatory i would i love the griffith observatory that's my favorite place in the whole entire world i wanted to also go hiking over there where the hollywood sign is because that's exactly where it is and I noticed that they show a lot of the Griffith Observatory in certain reality TV shows if it's being filmed in L.A. and stuff like that. So Griffith Observatory, first, second, Universal Studios, Hollywood. And last fact about me, favorite WWE wrestler, new and old. My favorite favorite WWE wrestler would have to be Mr. Perfect, hands down, for that one, too. I mean, he's the best he should have been the best there is, the best there was, and the best there will ever be. I'm sorry. My sister loves Bret Hart, so I had to kind of put that in there a little bit. So, Mr. Perfect, hands down, with a T at the end. Hands down. Um, plus, he's kind of he's kind of sexy, too. It's <laughs> something about that curly top ramen looking hair with those piercing blue eyes. I just love him. He's perfect. Anyway, so yes, Mr. Perfect. And I used to say Roman Reigns today, but now, not so much. Um, just Mr. Perfect. I don't have a new wrestler anymore. But my favorite tag team would have to be the Dudley Boys and the Road Warriors, Hawk and Animal. That's it. As far as tag team, that's it. I am a Federation kid. I grew up in the Federation days watching Sid Justice and Psycho Sid or whatever and Giant Gonzalez and Yokozuna and Chuck Norris kicked the heck out of Jeff Jarrett because he was trying to interfere in the match and all that. Um, all that. I'm I'm back to the WWF, you know, even though I know, it, I know it's WWE, but I'm a wrestling fan, okay? So Mr. Perfect is my favorite wrestler. All right, everybody, and that includes... Excuse me. And that concludes. I'm a little discombobulated this morning. I don't know what's going on. And that concludes my 10 facts about me part two. Please watch the first one. If you haven't watched it, I think I did that a couple of days ago. And look at my nails. I need a feel and I need a repair. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them take all these nails off, put me a fresh set on, and then they're going to be a little bit longer because I like my nails a little bit longer. So thanks, Renee Savage, for showing your with the nail video. I You just got me wanting some long nails now. <laughs> And these are the nails that I had a couple weeks ago. They're gel, and look, it's time. It's time to make that change. So I'm going to go ahead and get these taken off. I, whatever, I know they cost for takeoff. Hmm. 
I'm not getting jail this time because I want to be able to come home and paint my own nails. Um, yeah, so I was watching YouTube yesterday and I saw one of Renee Savage's, um, not to throw her name out for clout or anything or because I know I want to respect people's privacies and they don't want to be mentioned just in case. So I do apologize in advance. Um, but I saw her nail video yesterday. I'm thinking, I want my nails done longer because I love them. And a lot of people say, how are you going to wipe your behind with long nails? Use wipes because I feel like it's easier. You grip better with tissue. And if you don't want that wet feeling, not TMI, then just you go behind it with tissue once, that's it, or whatever. Or however many times you need to wipe yourself or whatever, I don't know. But I use wipes whenever I have long nails, and it's better than tissue. But anyway, plus I got to use wipes anyway because I've been wiping myself too hard and it hurts. Anyway, so that concludes my 10 facts about me part two. Please stay tuned. Maybe I might do a third one, maybe not, but... I'm still tripping. Why did I put my height and weight as one of the facts? Like, what, what the heck? You guys will not get my social security number and my phone number. I promise you that. Or my address. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm on my way to go get my nails done. Because look at it. I can't do nothing with this. Because then I have to keep hiding my nails. Then I have to hide these nails because they need to feel. Then I have to hide these. And it's just like, yeah, you know. So, anyway, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys like the, my makeup today. Let me show you guys my makeup in another light. See, you can see I, I look like look like I'm about to wink and somebody push paws. But yeah, I'm just trying to get the hang. I'm putting on these eyelashes, you guys. So please bear with me. Thanks. Okay. All right. See you on the next one. Bye.